here today. All right, Bar Naturals, prayers. Talk to the people, man. Let them know what's getting ready to go down. Yo, what's good, YouTube? You back with the prayers here with the uh, good money. You already know, Alan Cherry Clinton. Today, we're going to bring you a science-based push workout. Optimal way you should guys be training for your shoulders, chest, and triceps. I'm going to be bringing you full workout. It's going to be a mix of calisthenics and weights. So I'll be showing you alternative versions of each exercise you guys will be doing. So again, it's going to be full push, shoulders, chest, and triceps. And you guys know... I'm big on starting, training with your shoulders. Listen, remember, someone quoted this once, a blood flow workout. I'm going to quote that now. It's my labor. It's my term, right? It's going to be a blood flow workout. Optimal for muscle growth is we're going to have the blood traveling down with gravity. So, listen, when you're doing supersets and stuff like that, say you're training chest and then back, right? Your, your heart rate really, really goes up. Why? Wow, that's a good burn. That's making the blood travel from one muscle group to the next muscle group, rushing back and forth. Optimally, now, if we want to have muscle gains right now, we're going to do blood flow. We're going to start shoulders, then we're going to train our chest, then we're going to train our triceps. Remember, this is just a push. If we were doing full body, we would hit our chest. I mean, we would hit our chest and then our back, and then we would hit our arm, but we ain't going to hit back today. It's going to be push. So we're going to start with our shoulders, then we're going to go down to our chest muscles, and then we're going to hit triceps. So listen, the, the reason why I'm, I, I talk about blood flow is because, listen, if you could start the blood start, start working on top of your body and your shoulders and let it flow down naturally, working from one muscle group to the next, the blood is going to stay in the shoulders first, swell them up. Then naturally, it's going to start dispersing down. And as it starts dispersing down, that's when you start hitting your chest. So the blood flow optimally is going to flow to your chest. And then from there, we're going to hit triceps. So I'm going to be showing you guys, uh, like I said, calisthenics and a weight-based version of, exercise, of each exercise. So one, we're going to start with shoulders. You guys know I like to always warm up, do a little bit of isolation movement, warm up the shoulders first, get some external rotation going. Remember guys, external rotation is very, very important, especially when doing a push workout. Most of your pushing exercises are gonna be internal rotation, same way we're always in our daily lives. Pressing like this, typing on our desk, uh, typing at our desk, texting, always in that internal ro rotated state. So we wanna be making sure we can open up our shoulders and our, and our chest, expand them, put them in, in, into external rotation, warm up nicely to keep that good posture, good alignment in the body. You don't wanna to be too over dominant and oppressing or else that's gonna cause that rounded posture in the back. So like always, I like to start with shoulders and the first exercise we're gonna do, I'm gonna demonstrate a body weight variation of, the, of, a, of a face pull. So what we're gonna do for my live, we're gonna move this right here, stay tuned. All right, so we're gonna do a face pull. This is gonna warm up the rear delt. Remember, external rotation. And then I'll show you a dumbbell exercise you guys could be doing. And I'll also demonstrate a cable exercise you guys could be doing. And I'll use my resistance bands to show you as well. So first we're gonna do face pulls on the uh, parallel bars, body weight only. So if you're doing calisthenics, this is the exercise you're gonna warm, wanna warm up with. And remember, we're not trying to fatigue the muscles here. We're just trying to put some blood, get some blood rushed into them before we get into our compound exercise. So face pulls on a, on a dip bar, what we're gonna do now. If we were doing rows, we would line up with our, with our waist right up in parallel with the bar, right? If we were doing rows, we would pull to our chest. But now since we're doing face pulls, we're gonna line up with our forehead right to the bar. Now we're gonna lift our hips and now we're gonna pull to our forehead. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten. And remember, I'm doing ten reps. Not gonna fatigue my muscle, but if ten is hard for you, go six, seven reps. Keep it light. You don't want to burn out. This is just to get some blood flow to the muscle. So that's a body weight version. And you want to be doing three sets, no more than ten to twelve reps, resting about sixty seconds in between each. So like I said, I'm gonna demonstrate the weight version too. And if you were doing this in the gym. You guys could be using cables or resistance bands, so I'll show you each variation. All right, we're gonna take Make sure your stuff don't fly away over there, man. Oh, I see. It's windy out here. Some fucking whack ass mask I bought okay. for the gym. So what we got here next? All right, so like I said, first exercise, we did a warm-up uh, for external rotation, a face pull. We demonstrated a body weight. 
Now we're gonna demonstrate it if you were in the gym using cables or if you wanna use it with weights. So I'll show you two different variations. So we got the body weight variation, face pull on the dip bar. Now remember, it's all warm up sets. All the same variation, it's all exercise one, depending on how you're training. So if you're in the gym and you wanna do this with a cable, you wanna set up a high pulley. You wanna set up a high pulley. So imagine this resistance band is a cable, or if you want, use a resistance band, high. You guys seen me do this in my warm ups before. All we're gonna do, 10 reps. One, two, pulley to the forehead. Three, you want the elbows flared out. Remember guys, initiate the pull from the muscle that you're working, which is the rear delt here. Remember, shoulders, chest, and tricep. First muscle we're working is the shoulders. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So again, Three sets, 10 to 12 reps of this first exercise. You guys seen the body weight variation? You saw the gym version with a resistance band or a cable? Now you'll see how you use it with dumbbells. So I got dumbbells with me too. So let's go to the dumbbell variation. I'm gonna bring them right here. All right, so we got 25s. Relatively heavy for this movement, but for the demonstration purposes, I'll be able to show it to you. But if you guys are in the gym using dumbbells, grab yourself a lighter set of dumbbells than this, and you wanna be working again in that 10 to 12 rep range. But because I'm demonstrating, I've only brought the 25s out on me today, we're gonna demonstrate the movement with the 25 pound dumbbells. So now what we're gonna do, remember, external rotation. So we showed the body weight variation, face pull. Showed the cable, face pull. Now what we're gonna do, rear delt fly. It's all about getting that external rotation in the shoulder blade. Because we're gonna be in a heavy push workout, hitting a lot of internal rotation. So we really wanna make sure that external rotation is warmed up correctly. And this is the first shoulder exercise of the day. So now we're gonna do bent over rows. Just like this. So, key thing guys, when you're doing these rows, remember, watch from the side. Slight bend in the knees, slight bend in the knees. All we're doing is hinging from the waist. We're not bending down from the knees, it's a hinge down from the waist. The hands fall in front of you naturally. Look, I, I'm standing up straight. As I hinge down, my hands are naturally falling here. Now all I'm doing, flying out. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now again, remember I said those are 25s. If I was doing this in the gym, I would do this with about 12 and a half pounds or 15 pounds because you want nice controlled reps. You don't want to fatigue the muscles. 25s right now, I'm not gonna front, are definitely a little heavy for me to do this as a warm-up set, but for the demonstration purposes, I showed it to you. So look, I just did three sets, which is what you guys would be doing in your workout. I did one body weight one gym, one dumbbell. Now we're gonna move on to our main press workout. So remember, this is full workout we're gonna be going through. Shoulders, chest, and triceps. So we're gonna be hitting three exercises per muscle group. First one we just did, flies, I mean, it was these rear delt flies, face pulls, and face pulls on the bar. That's exercise one. We're gonna go to exercise two in a second. And you guys already know, I'm drinking uh, essential aminos, and uh, car powder, glutamine, creatine, like always. Yo, we still tuned in, say what up, what up, we out here, we're filming. I'm just, I hope you guys like these live workouts, but uh, subscribe to That's Good's Money page, you already know, the man who put me on, appreciate all the support. So just like always guys, remember like I said, you wanna be taking one minute break in between those first three sets. I did them back to back to back, so you guys are gonna give me a minute now before I get into my compound exercise. 40 degrees out here too, we should tell them. That's yeah, why you all bundled up. 40, yeah, I'm, the, the 40. shirt will come off. <laughs> yeah, I'll be in a t-shirt in a minute. Trust me, I'm warming up. All right, now we're gonna get into the body weight version of our main shoulder workout. It's gonna be a handstand. And if you guys can't do handstands, you guys are gonna get the dumbbells, you're gonna do the dumbbell version, or you're gonna go on a wall and you're gonna do a handstand hold. So if you can't do the handstand press ups that I'm gonna do now, because I want to get in reps, you guys are going to go on the wall and just practice either handstand holds for time. Remember, it's the time under tension. You want to be in that position, holding a handstand, your shoulders are going to constantly be t under pressure. And the longer you can hold, the longer you can build up that time under pressure, the stronger your shoulders are going to get. Remember, time under tension is what's going to build muscle. So, the, number, the first exercise we're going to go through, like I said, 
is a handstand. I'll do a few variations. First, I'm gonna go on the P bars and I'll do a press up. For the more advanced, we'll go on the parallel bars and we're gonna get into a press up. All right, and you guys saw, I didn't get the full press up right there. But listen, if that's your level, just hold like that. And if you guys have watched my videos on Good Money, you know I can do a press up. I trained shoulders and chest yesterday on my live. Go watch it at Bar Naturals. So my shoulders are fatigued right now. I ain't get a front. Well, we're filming this for Good Money's channel and yeah. for you guys to show you guys that missed my live a good and effective science based shoulders, chest, and tricep workout. So look, you saw me fail on that press up. All, I, all you would have saw if I did it was me getting to that handstand. Now I'm gonna move to the floor and I'll demonstrate a handstand hold on the floor. Like you guys know, I can do handstands. My shoulders are a little fatigued right now. So, body weight variation still. Again, if you can't do them on the floor and you still want to learn your handstands, go on a wall and kick up. And I'll demonstrate that in a pole for you guys in a second. So, let's see if I'm even get this hole right now. So, no matter what exercise you choose, doing press-ups on, on the P-bars, if you're doing handstands on the floor, that's the body with variation of doing handstands on the wall. It's three sets, and you want to aim for 10 to 15 second hold each set with about 60 to 90 second break. Now, if, let's say we're doing this in the gym, and we're using dumbbells, what are we going to do? Stay right there. I'm going to come back. Now, if we're in the gym, what are we going to do? We're going to do dumbbell shoulder presses. Easy. Look, guys, you guys can do this standing or seated. I will show you both variations. Standing is going to be a little harder. It's going to activate more core, more stability. So we're going to do the dumbbell version standing. Remember, 25 pounds. And look, guys, when you're in a handstand, what's the end result, right? How do you hold yourself out? You're locked out like this, right? What's the end position of a, of a shoulder press? Boom. And I'm going to show you guys a drill you guys can work on with dumbbells to work on your handstand. So first, I'm going to show you the dumbbell shoulder presses. Standing, remember, shoulder, the shoulders and chest. First exercise we did was those rear delt flies, warm up the back of the uh, back delt, rear delt. Now we're hitting the shoulder presses, really gonna target the full, the full entire delt now. So, we're gonna go three sets, 10 reps. Same thing if we were doing body weight, three sets, 10 second hold, now we want three sets, 10 presses. Strict form, guys, you wanna be at 90 degrees, you, you don't want your elbows too far down, you wanna end right here, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and look, this is the last, this is the end position of a handstand, right? So if you can hold this with your dumbbells up, you wanna mimic. Now what you wanna do is get your feet close together. Look at me, my feet are close together. I'm acting like I'm in a handstand now. I'm holding my core tight, I'm pressing my body up. So. That's a drill you guys can hand, practice with dumbbells. Grab the dumbbells, you can hold them neutral grip or pronated grip, just like that. Feet together, core tight, squeeze everything, and just keep elongating your body. Keep pressing those dumbbells over your head and keeping your body straight. It's gonna mimic the end resist position of a handstand. It's gonna teach you that full body tension. So I told you, three exercises per muscle group. Now what we're gonna do is go into, like I said, you want three sets, of each variation. So if you're doing the body weight work, doing handstands, do three sets of hold, do three sets of push-ups. Let's go to the let's go to the bar. Mem remember guys, if this was a wall, remember. Now, pretend this is a wall, right? Pretend this is the wall. So if you guys could do handstands and you want to do handstand push-ups, you could do them on the wall or you could do them freestanding. Or if you guys still can't do a freestanding handstand, you want to practice them on the wall. So let me take everything out of my pockets real quick. Remember, this is a wall. This is not a pole. Pretend this is a wall, guys. All you want to do here, kick up to the wall. And use the wall for balance. Look, remember, I'm on a pole, obviously. But pretend this is a wall. You'll have no problems kicking up to it. I have a small space to kick up to there. So if you guys are just learning your handstands and want to build that strength in that uh, time under tension, just learning how to hold yourself upside down, find the wall and do it back to the wall. Don't do it stomach to wall yet, 
Because if you fall stomach to wall, you fall right on your back. If you're back to the wall, you're not gonna bust your ass. So remember, handstands against the wall, and if you get good at them, you can also start doing handstand push-ups. And if you're doing this in the gym, three sets of 10 reps, dumbbell shoulder presses. If you don't got dumbbells, you could also do this with a barbell. We don't got a barbell out here with us today. So that's number, it's the second exercise for your shoulders. Now we're getting on to the third one. So, this is gonna be, like I said, first we're gonna do body weight variation. Then we're gonna go into weighted version of the exercise and also something we could do if we're doing um, just cables. If we have only cables or resistance bands, I'll show you variation with that too. So, and again, let me show you presses with a resistance band. For you, for those, for those who only have a resistance band, for those who only got resistance bands, right? And you got no, no dumbbells, you're working out at home, right? You wanna do shoulder presses, how can you do it? Remember, look, this is the lightest band. How can you manipulate the band to get some tension? One, we could do single arms. Let's step on it like this. One foot's gonna step on the band, just like that, right? Now what we're gonna do, come up, boom. One, two, three, 10. Make sure you always gotta hit both sides, guys. So you could do a single arm with the band, just like you can with a dumbbell. One, two, three, 10. Or what we can do now, we can step in it with both feet. Both feet go in the band. Now we can mimic more a double uh, dumbbell press or a military press with a barbell. What are we gonna do? Come up, starting position, press one. Same thing like with a dumbbell. You want your elbows to come towards the ear, head comes through the band as if it was a bar also. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Boom. So that's body weight variation, handstands, handstand on the wall. Weighted version with the dumbbells. If you got no weights, you can't do handstands and can't go upside down yet, and all you got is resistance bands, you got the resistance band version. Look, this is the lightest band, and I felt that. Go up to the second lightest band, and I guarantee resistance bands, they cause constant tension. So you're gonna get resistance on the way up, and then on the way down, you're gonna have to force that, you're gonna have to control that eccentric rep, because that's when the band's snapping back. So bands are great, they're similar to cables. I'm not saying you're gonna build muscle with bands, but they are effective for maintaining. And if you have no muscle to start with, they will build something. But if you're looking to grow from where you are now, if you're already a muscular type, they won't be that effective at building muscle, but great tool to utilize if you're trying to stay in shape, maintain what you have. Yo, I'm live guys, don't call me. All right, so like I said, third exercise for our shoulder now. Oh, it's warming up, it's warming up. It's warming up. Got the six pack going. Six pack gone? Or oh, we got it. Oh, okay, we good. We got it. We got it, right? <laughs> oh, what happened to my live, bro? What happened? Yo, he fucked my live up. Supposed to keep it on airplay, they said. I heard somebody said something. Come on, what the fuck? All right, come on, pick back up. What happened, bro? All right, we're good? All right, we're live. All right, remember, exercise three now, body weight variation. Body weight variation. So, if you guys are training, now we're gonna do one more isolation. First isolation, rear delt. Then we work them presses, working the full delt. Now we're gonna hit exercise for the front delt. So first body weight variation we're gonna do, come on the parallel bars. And if we don't have parallel bars, I'm gonna show you this on the floor as well. Really gonna work the front delt, and it's gonna be a good transition exercise to get into our first chest exercise. Remember, this is shoulders, chest, and triceps in the most effective and science-built way. So we're working down with blood flow. Blood starting on top of our body and flowing down to the next muscle group accordingly. So body weight variation, you guys have seen these before. We're gonna do tuck planche, Row, uh, rotation, so simple, beginner exercise. Anybody can do this, it's not hard. Yo, G, come to the side. Remember guys, you're gonna get up in a tucked L, not, in, not even advanced. This would be the advanced version. Just tuck, and all we're gonna do, lean forward, shift back. Lean forward, shift back. Up, down, up, down.
And again, you want to hit three sets of 10 reps. Wow. That's really going to put a lot of stress on the front delt. And if you can't do that, do that on the P-bars, you guys are going to go on the floor and you guys are going to do reverse grip push-ups. Watch. Just like this. You're going to come on the floor, hands supinated, just like this, underhand. And what you're going to do now, push up just like this. Boom. Because remember, we're doing science-based shoulders, chest, triceps. So right now we're hitting the front delt. What are we hitting next? Chest, right? And we're gonna start with our upper chest. Start with our back delt, rear delt. Hit them presses. Get the blood flow all over the shoulder cap. Now we're moving to the front delt. So the first exercise you saw, the tuck planche rotations. If you can't do those, supinated grip push-ups. Those are two bodyweight variations. Now I'm gonna show you what you do if you had only resistance bands or if you had dumbbells. Dumbbell variation, watch. These are gonna be, we're gonna, look, these are 25s again, don't forget. These are 25 pounds, a little heavy for this exercise that I would be doing. If I was in the gym, I would use 15s, maybe 20s for this. But I'm gonna do it with a little bit of momentum reps and little cheat reps for you guys to see. But remember, listen, 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 listen. Think of the shoulder joint, don't think of it, this is facts. The shoulder joint is only, it's the most mobile joint in the body. It has all of this mobility. It's the only joint you could do that with, right? So think of it like that, right? All you want to do for this exercise is initiate the movement from here. Remember, shoulder joint's a pendulum, right? So all you want to do now is raise the stick on the pendulum forward, and you don't want to let it swing back. Raise it up, back to starting position. Up, it's never getting fully around. Remember, it's just one joint. Halfway up it, right back down. Not halfway up, one quarter way up the, up the circle, back down, all rotating on the one joint. So front, front raises, front dumbbell raises. You can do this with a barbell, or here we're gonna demonstrate the dumbbell variation. Remember, I'm gonna do it single arm, and I'm gonna do it two arms at a time. First, I'll do two arms at a time. Remember, feet close together, slight bend in the knees. All we're gonna do, raise from that shoulder joint. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten. Like I said, those are 25, a little heavy for normally what I would do that, that movement with. But if you're in the gym, you got access to dumbbells, let's go a little lighter and focus on just lifting from the front delt, which is what I did there. And now I'll show you the single arm version of that with the dumbbells, which is the same movement, just doing it unilateral instead of bilateral. So I'll just demonstrate five on each side now. So, same thing, raising from the shoulder joint. One, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five. You would go, again, 10 reps on each arm, three sets. So if you're doing the tuck planche holds, I mean touch pl the tuck planche rotations, the supinated grip push-ups or the dumbbell front raises, it's three sets of 10 reps. And like I said, I'm gonna demonstrate resistance band version as well. So give me a second and I'll demonstrate that for you guys also. All right, so resistance band variation. You wanna step on the band both feet, just like this. Step on it with both feet, same thing. Underhand grip, supinated grip. Grab the band, all we're gonna do with our arms straight, arms are straight locked out. Same thing, raise from the shoulder joint. One, now the band's gonna force you down. You resist the band down. You resist that resistance, that's gonna give you extra tension. So, up, down, down. Yo, I came in front. I think I like the band variation of that the best. Constant tension both ways. Nice, smooth, controlled up, and I control it down. 
not letting the band take me down, you get a nice pump on that. So that's the third exercise for the shoulders. It's an isolation, remember. So one isolation, that, exter that external rotation first. Second, the main compound, the presses, handstands, however you want to do them. Third, one more isolation, get the front delt blown up. And now we're going to move down to our chest. Remember, shoulders, then chest. Blood is flowing optimally down our body. So now we're going to move on. First exercise we're going to be doing is upper chest. So body weight version of the upper chest exercise, we're going to be doing incline or decline diamond push-ups. So decline diamond push-ups going to target the upper chest. I'm going to put my feet up on the bench right here. And if you don't have a bench, you guys can use a box. Use your couch if you're working out at home. A chair, it don't matter. Anything to get your feet up. Just remember, when your body is horizontal down like this, an angle down, the most, think, think of it guys, when you're doing push-ups, the effect is gravity on your body. So if your body's angled down like this, the most gravity is going to be right above your upper back, right? That's the lowest point to the floor. Right above your upper back is going to target the most of your upper chest. So now if I was angled like this, most of the, the most gravity is going to be hitting here. So it's going to alleviate the actual pressing in the push-up making. That's why elevated push-ups are easier, easier variation because there's less actual gravity hitting on the chest directly. But now when I'm going down, look at the difference. Look, look where my chest is now. Now look where my chest is. It's the lowest point of my body. So the highest point of gravity is now on my chest. So now we're gonna be doing decline. Decline's gonna target the upper chest the most. And we're gonna do diamonds. Cause remember this guys, the number one way to contract the chest is to be able to get the humerus across. That's how you get the ultimate contraction of the chest. Humerus cross of the body. So if you're bench pressing with a barbell, right? Or if you're fixed on the floor doing push-ups, there's not really much crossover effect of the humerus contracting the chest. It's just full range of motion, up and down, staying stagnant. But what do you notice people when they're doing dumbbells? What do they do when they're doing dumbbell presses? Here, here, they're bringing the dumbbells in, right? Why? Because it allows them a deeper and a stronger contraction because they're now allow allowed to bring their elbows and the humerus across the body. Why do people do flies? What do flies do? They bring the elbows and the humerus across the body, allowing you that full contraction of the chest. Same thing with ring flies. Here, boom. Anything where you could bring your hands close, ring dips a porthole, dips on the rings. You're always bringing your body close, hollowed out like that. You're bringing the humerus across. That's how you get the contraction of the chest. So like I said, now we're gonna be doing, if you're doing regular push-ups, your hands are out here. But when you get in that diamond range, now look, now half my arm is almost already across my chest. A deeper and a stronger contraction in the chest muscles. So first exercise for upper chest, body weight version, decline diamond push-ups. And again, three sets of 10 reps. Remember guys. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine, 10. And you want to get a nice squeeze, full range of motion in those push-ups because when you come to full lockout, that's when the arm is fully contracted, fully across the humerus. I'm telling you, going from that front delt exercise right into an upper chest exercise, you're really going to feel the burn the lactic acid in your whole upper body right now. So now we're going to go the gym version of this workout, which will be a dumbbell version. And I'll also demonstrate how you can use resistance bands to hit your upper chest as well. So just hold up for a second. You know, I'm doing these all back to back. Remember, every exercise is three sets of 10 reps. I'm demonstrating three sets of each variation. I ain't gonna be doing nine sets. I ain't gonna do three sets of body weight, three sets of dumbbells, and then three sets of resistance band, SOD, after doing a shoulder workout yesterday. So remember guys, this is the best way, in my opinion, and from what the books that I've read, Especially if you're a natural lifter, natural bodybuilder, wanting the most effect for these type of workouts. I'm telling you, blood flow workout. You heard it here first. We're working with gravity here. We're letting the muscles work optimally, getting the blood flow optimally to the muscles. And you'll know, yeah, I'm sipping on. And what, the reason why I sip on the aminos and the carb powder during my training 
Because like I told you, when, you're, when the blood is flowing to the muscles, what delivers nutrients to your muscles? Blood flow, right? So when you're drinking these pre-digested, easily absorbed into the bloodstream mixes, the amino acids, the carb powder, the glutamine, the creatine, as soon as the blood is rushing to the muscles that you're working, it's delivering what you're sipping on. So the muscles are optimally getting hydrated and nutri taking the nutrients while you're working out. So now we're going to get into dumbbell version. We're going to have to move over here. Because remember, hitting upper chest. So we're going to go on to an incline now. So if you were in the gym, you will be doing this on an incline bench. If you were in the gym, you're doing it on an incline bench. Let me get my dumbbells. Uh -oh. Going on that one there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So remember, if you were in the gym, you're gonna go on a bench, raise it to an incline. Remember, we're in upper chest first. That's the first three exercises per muscle group, first to the chest, upper. We went straight from the front delt right into our upper chest now. So incline, dumbbell presses. Now we're gonna do it again. Three sets of 10 reps. Here I'm demonstrating this in the park. So if you're training in the park and you got dumbbells, you can do this in the park. And key thing when you're doing this type of workout, guys, when you're doing any type of bench pressing, I told you, you don't want to be rounded. So first cue you guys want to do, head up, chest up, you want to roll your shoulders back. You want to have a nice, tight scapula, tight pinched shoulders on the bench when you come back. You want to be down like this, shoulders retracted. Boom, arms at 90, now we're going to press. Remember, these are 25, so this will be light for me. So I'm going to do pause reps for you guys. So if you've got heavy weight, do the, if you have lightweight and you want to manipulate it to make you feel heavy, we'll do pause reps. So we're going to do 10 pause reps. So to make it harder, if you're only working with a, a lighter weight, you work that pause, pause on the bottom, increase that time under tension, and that's how you manipulate the weight. But if 25s are good for you, go nice, smooth, and controlled, and that's gonna really target the upper chest. So that's the second exercise that I'm demonstrating you all live. My bad. <laughs> wind out here is crazy. OD wind out here live, my bad. My bad. So. Second exercise I just showed you guys was those incline presses, right? Those incline bar, incline dumbbell presses. Now we're gonna go upper chest again with the resistance band. So if you're only working with resistance bands, I'm gonna show you how we can hit the upper chest. So I brought the band over here. Now remember, we're gonna always start stepping on the band, right? We're gonna step on the band, and now we're gonna mimic something you could do in the gym with cables. So we're gonna take, we're gonna take my man nose over there. So we're gonna take this resistance band, under hand grip, now we're gonna bring our hands, like I said, humerus crosses the body, boom, just like this. One, almost similar to those front raises that we were doing prior, now we're gonna bring our arms in, just like this. So you see that angle? Watch. Arms are coming across and up. And you're bringing this angle. So if you guys had no band, it's the, yo, stop fucking calling me. If you had no angle, if you had no band, and you just took your arm like this and brought it across like this, you would feel your upper, tre your upper chest contract. So again, you can do the single arm. Hold on, let me fix my live again. People be messing me up. We good out here, right live, we live? All right, so look. If you want to do the single arm to make it a little harder, now we're going to step on the band with one arm, same thing, one arm at a time. Cross, boom, boom. All upper chest of the right pack right now. Boom, boom. Now we're gonna switch it. Remember, if you're doing one arm movements, you gotta hit both sides. So you're gonna step on it with one foot, just like this. Step on the band, just like that. Single arm, now remember guys, you're crossing the humerus across the body. Remember, boom, one, two, So, 
same thing. Single arm, cross with the band. One, two, three, 10 reps each side. Depending if you're working with the band, you wanna do it with two arms, you're gonna hit 10, nine, eight. So we got three variations. We got body weight version on those decline diamond push-ups where your feet are on an elevated surface. That's number one body weight. If you're working in the gym, we got dumbbells on an incline surface, three sets of 10 reps. And if you're only working with resistance bands, it, this, remember, this is the lightest band and I'm feeling it. Get a heavier band and you can work just like this. Boom, single arm at a time, boom, boom, easy. So that's three variations for upper chest. Now we're gonna move on to our, our, our main compound exercise. Second that we're gonna be doing, I'm gonna be showing you dips. I'm gonna be doing them weighted, but remember, that's just me doing them weighted. If you can't do weighted, you're doing body weight, and then I'll also demonstrate band work that you guys could be doing, also dumb, another dumbbell exercise. See good money out here. What's going on, y'all? The man, the legend. Yes, sir. Subscribe to his page. Yeah. I got a lot of gems on his page that I don't have on mine. All right, so we're gonna strap on the 45 today. Remember, we're going three sets of 10 reps. So if you're doing bot, this is the body weight version. Don't get it twisted. This is the body weight version of the exercise. So just stay tuned. If you want to do this body weight, if you're not up to weighted reps yet, just keep it body weight. So on three sets of 10 reps, and this is the second exercise for our chest. Now remember, dips, besides hitting the chest, they're also going to target a lot of shoulder. Any pressing movement when you're bench pressing, anything like that is also going to target a lot of front delt and a lot of shoulder work also. So this is perfect. That's why it's always smart to kind of train shoulders and chest back to back like that. Maybe it may not be out there, you may not get the best pressing work. That's why you have to focus. One day you focus on strength shoulders, the next day you focus on strength chest, vice versa. But this is, like I said, this is full body, full of body, three sets of 10 of everything. And this is how we're gonna go, three sets of 10 weighted dips now. Good? Mm -hmm. So, that's with the 45. In between these sets, remember, 90 second break, maybe two minutes tops, depending if you're working weighted. If you're doing body weight, I recommend keeping it to about 90 seconds. If you're doing weighted, uh, you could go up to maybe that two minute mark, but you wanna consistently hit that three sets of 10 reps, and you wanna keep the rest period strict. It's easy to cheat on, it's easy to prolong rest periods to make the sets easier. But keeping the rest period strict and timing them and accounting for them is gonna only help you progress. So the next time you go to the workout, you know you hit three sets of 10 reps of 45 pounds with a strict two minute break, right? So let's say you only have 45 pounds. How would you manipulate that now? So next time you do this workout, you're gonna do three sets of 10 reps with a 90 second break. When that gets, when you can accomplish that, then you do three sets of 10 reps with a one minute break. That's how you progressively overload only using one weight if that's all you have options to. So that was the first part, that was the weighted exercise. Now I gotta show you the body weight variation to target the more lower mid chest. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna focus on simple, standard push-ups. But again, instead of being push-up grip, it's gonna be on the floor in the diamond grip. So what did I say? Crossing the body with the humerus is gonna allow for more muscle engagement more contraction of the chest. So now we're gonna do just standard diamond dips on the floor. Ready? Three diamond sets, dips? I mean diamond push-ups, oh, okay. my bad. <laughs> Three sets of 10 diamond dips if you're doing body weight version of this. So the first exercise you would be hitting was decline diamond push-ups. Then you would want, if you're doing body weight again, if you could do dips, you wanna be doing three sets of 10 dips. If you're not ready for three sets of 10 dips yet, you're gonna go on the floor and you're gonna hit three sets of 10 diamonds. 
So remember, the diamonds are gonna allow for better contraction of the chest. You gonna throw that 45 on your back, man? Come on. Chill, all right, let's do it. Yeah. <laughs> ah, 45 on the back. 45 on the back, man. Let's go. It's gonna be tough to, to, to balance right now. Eight. That was good. It wasn't that <laughs> the weight was too much. Balancing that dolo is a little hard. But what you can do now, you guys want to do weighted push ups, you don't got a partner, right? I'll show you a tip. You guys are in the park and you got a dip bell, right? You got access to parallel bars and you want to work some weighted push ups, watch this method. And if you don't have someone to hold the weight on your back, what you can do is, now, we're gonna strap up as if we're gonna do weighted dips, but now we're gonna go back on the dip bar, right? We're gonna go back on the dip bar, and this is gonna allow, so with dips, good thing about doing dips, right? As opposed to doing barbell work, same thing with dumbbells, it allows for that deeper range of motion, right? There's nothing there stopping your chest. So on the floor, I'm a little limited to the range of motion, because my head, my chest is gonna hit the floor, right? So now, if you got weight and you wanna do some weighted push-ups, strap on normally, right? Now you don't need a partner, no one to hold the weight on you. Hanging normally, get on the dip bar, feet up. Now this weight is gonna be right in the middle of your body. Now, and you could also go deeper range of motion. One. Two. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ah. So that allows for a deeper range of motion. The deeper you can go, the more thickness, the more stimulation, the more muscle fibers you're recruiting. So deeper reps, you can get yourself on a dip bar like this. And if you don't got a dip bar, and you guys got like PVC pipes at home or push-up handles, you won't be able to hang the weight from your chest, I mean from your belt, because the floor will be there. But if you got someone to put the weight on your back and hold it for you, you can still practice those deep weighted range of motion push-ups. Really gonna stimulate the chest. Great for muscle growth, because remember, and now we're making the reps hard enough that we're really working in that hypertrophy range, which they say is that six to 12, six to 13 rep range. And you're making it hard enough doing just these body weight exercises by adding the resistance to you to work in that range. Because remember, body weight, we can rep these out all day. We could do 30 plus reps all day for these type of workouts. Throw on that 45 or whatever's hard enough for you to make it so you can work in that six to 12 rep range. <laughs> So, now I'm gonna show you dumbbell variation. You saw the weighted dips. You saw the, uh, if you were doing calisthenics, saw the uh, dip version, saw the version on the floor. Now another dumbbell version. We're going flat bench now, guys. Flat dumbbell presses. Right here, dude. Okay. So now we're back in the gym. First we hit incline, now we're gonna lower it down, target flex, remember, blood flow, right? Shoulders, front delt, upper chest, mid, lower chest. Then we're gonna get into our triceps, remember? So, flat bench press, if you got a barbell, you can do this with a barbell. If you got dumbbells, you're gonna do with dumbbells. Remember, I got the 25s. So now I'm gonna go deep pause reps on these. Remember, watch, deep pause reps. Remember guys, shoulders always pinch back, tight into the bench. One, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So you see, you got a light. If you only got a limited access to dumbbells. I showed you how you can make the dips harder, how you can make the how you can make the dumbbell work harder now. You manipulate the weight, slowing it down, getting a nice pause, the bottom of each rep, get a nice deep range of motion. You're gonna really stimulate those thick, those deeper fibers in the chest, allow for a uh, wider growth and everything in the chest muscles. Do it on the dip bar. If you're, if you're doing push-ups, if you got dumbbells, do it on the bench. And if you wanna do dips, you're doing the dip version. So now we're gonna move on. Remember guys, and always when we're working these pressing motions, this, this, uh, the shoulder presses, the bench press, the, the dips, the push-ups, every muscle that we're training is always going to be stimulated. So while we're doing the shoulder work, triceps are stimulated, upper chest is getting stimulated. When we're doing the chest work, front delta is getting stimulated, tricep is getting, getting stimulated. So by the time you're done with the chest work, the shoulder work, your tricep already had a, a lot of volume to it already. Well, now we're gonna get into some tricep work on its own, body weight versions, weighted versions, and like I said, I got a band version to show you still for the flat bent, for the flat chest stuff. So, we got band work, and I'm gonna show you two ways now. So look, now say, we got this band, right? Remember, it's the lightest one. We're gonna find a pole. It don't matter what kind of pole. I'll demonstrate it on this one and then on another one. So all I did, look, I wrapped the band around just like that, right? Now we're gonna take one hand in, one hand in, we're gonna step out, and what are we gonna do? We're gonna do mimic a bench press. Same thing we just did on the bench, we're gonna do it with the bands. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And remember, it's always three sets of 10 reps. So that's one version, and if you don't have a pole, and if you work at home and you wanna hit a little more uh, front chest, how can we do it? Now look, instead of going, instead of going across the body like this, now what are we gonna do? It's gonna be a little tougher, let's just see, I'm making this up as we go. Now we're gonna come up, we're gonna flare our elbows out. We're gonna flare our elbows out, and we're gonna bring our elbows across just like this. Instead of coming up, we're just gonna come straight across with the bands, ready? So we're gonna grab the band wide, right? Have our arms straight out wide. Already have resistance on the band. Now what are we gonna do? Bring our elbows together. Boom, one, two, three, four. Remember, incline for the upper chest, we were going like this, all the way up, all the way up. Now, to target the mid, more lower and mid chest, we're just going straight across. Grabbing the band wide with resistance, Bring it across, one, two, three, four. And I'm telling you right now, I might like the band variation of that exercise the best again. Crazy pump, crazy tension, and I'm only using the, the lightest band on that. So that's the three exercises for chest. Now we're gonna move on to tricep work. Let me get a sip of water. Workout for real, not a well, it's a how to and a workout. Oh, yeah, we're working in. out. <laughs> it's a how to and a workout. You already know. I appreciate all the lives. Thank you. Thank you for tuning in. Sorry, sorry, I'm not responding to all the comments right now. We out here working, we're getting busy. Part of the day, Zoe. They, they know when good money and the pressure showing up, they know not to come. They know not to come. All right, so now we're gonna get into some tricep work. First, I'm gonna show you the simplest body weight version of a tricep exercise you guys can be doing for the absolute beginner. Ready? Find a bench, we'll do it on a high surface. Start right here. All we're gonna do, we're gonna put our hands, yeah, flip it, flip it, flip it. A little bit that way, thank you. So, easiest beginner body weight version of this exercise. We're gonna come on a bench. We're gonna keep our hands, palms down and out. So we're not gonna grab the bench like this. We're gonna rotate our hands, the supinated grip, Palms right on our side, grab the bench like that, feet are gonna come out. 
elbows tight to the body. Your inner tri inner arm, inner tricep should be touching your rib cage and your scap. So legs come out. All we're gonna do is just bending from the elbows. Down, up, full lockout. Down, up, full lockout. Down, up, down, up, down, up. So that's the simplest body weight beginner variation of a tricep exercise you guys can be practicing. You guys are a little more advanced, a little more advanced. I'll show you a little harder variation of a tricep work and then I'll show you the advanced exercise version of it too. So if you're a little more advanced, let's come on the bench now and we're gonna come this way. Palms on, we're gonna put our forearms on the bench just like this and now what we're gonna do, we're gonna lift up, one. Preferably we want a flatter bench. Let's go over here, G. Let's go over here. That's a little arched. You can't get a good grip. So we're gonna go right here, just like this. Forearm flat on the bench, just like this. Remember, elevated surface will make things easier. If you're more advanced, you'll be doing this on the floor, more extended. This is the intermediate variation of a body weight tricep workout. Ready? Hands here on the bench, forearms down. All we're gonna do, lift up. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So you got the easiest variation, beginner dips, right? Beginner body weight, tricep dips, boom. One, two, three, just like that, right? Beginner variation. Then you got the intermediate variation, moving up to a higher surface, keeping your forearms on the fo uh, right on that surface, and just extending from the elbow. Now, if you were more advanced, you would take that movement to the floor. And how would it look? I'm gonna show right there, which we good. All right, so if you're more advanced, remember, you're gonna move to the floor for this. Same movement, as you move down, more gravity is on the body, more gravity is gonna hit the triceps, you're gonna make the movement harder. So, forearms on the floor now, palms out, feet out, I mean, feet together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and that is total tricep isolation. Besides that, crazy core engagement, like always with bodyweight workouts, your core is gonna be engaged. If, you're not, if your core is not engaged, the reps are gonna be sloppy, it's not gonna look correct, and you're gonna have loose energy just being dispersed. Remember, your body has to be always engaged tight. Think of it as a kinetic chain. No loose energy, no loose links. David's picking up, this, it's getting cold down here now. So we're gonna start moving around a little bit. So now we're gonna get, dumb, we're gonna give you two dumbbell variations of tricep work now. First one is gonna be done, you could do this sitting or standing, I'm gonna do it sitting. So now, we're gonna take the 25, we're gonna put it one side of our shoulder. Look, we're gonna grab it underhand grip. Boom, we're gonna start like that. Tr dumbbell here on the shoulder, that's good. Dumbbell here on the shoulder, and all I'm gonna do, lift it up, right? Lift the dumbbell on the shoulder, underhand grip, other hand comes, both on the hand. We'll take it right above our head like this, right? Just like this. Remember, the tricep work comes from extending the elbow. Boom. Two. Three. So the only joint we're moving from is the elbow joint. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. So remember, whether you're doing, whether your variation is on the bench, whether your variation is intermediate, whether your variation is on the floor doing the more advanced calisthenic one. It's three sets of 10. If you're doing this dumbbell overhead tricep extension, it's three sets of 10. Now I'm gonna show you a two dumbbell, double dumbbell tricep kickback, which again is also gonna be three sets of 10. So, now, two dumbbells in your hands. What we're gonna do, feet slightly inside shoulder width, not touching, about an inch and a half, two inches apart. Same, same thing like we did with the fly, the rear delt flies. Slight bend in the knees, hinge down normally, hinge down normally, right? But now watch, guys, watch the arms. When you're doing a curl, your arm ends like this, right? So now to start this tricep exercise, you have to start bent. Arms stay bent like this. This is the starting position. So if I was to stand up straight, this is how I'd be standing up straight. Now I'm just hinging down from the waist, and now watch, one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 
10. Those are called tricep kickbacks. You do those with two dumbbells, and I'll show you how you can do it with resistance bands, uh, resistance band variation as well. So, you got the tricep bench dips, you're an absolute beginner. You got the intermediate variation on the elevated surface. You got the advanced version on the floor. You got the dumbbell seated overhead tricep extension. Chill out, Wayne. Chill out, Wayne. <laughs> we got the seated overhead dumbbell tricep extensions. We got the tricep kickbacks. Now I'm gonna show you resistance bands. Where we at? All right, so I'll show you it all. Ready? Overhead tricep extension with the resistance band. Remember, guys, starting one foot now, we're gonna do single arm movement. Boom. Remember, only the elbow joint, remember? Boom, one, two, three, four, 10. And then we're gonna bring it to the left side. Ready? One, two, three, four, 10. Only moving from the elbow joint. Bending, extending. That's where you get the tricep work. And then what we're gonna do one more, we're gonna show you the tricep kickback. So now look, we're gonna tie the band right to any surface. I'm gonna pick this one, right? I'm gonna just choose this surface. What are we gonna do? Step out. Remember, arm starts bent, right? This is the starting position. Boom, one, two, three, four, five, ten. Move over to the left, ready? Move over to the left, guys. So if you were to stand up, arm starts bent, right? So we're starting, bending down. All we're doing is hinging from the waist. Arm starts here, bent to ready, one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So you got the band variations, you got the dumbbell variations, you got the body weight variations. I gave you front delt, rear delt, full delt, upper chest, mid delt, mid chest, lower chest. I gave you three tricep exercises that are gonna target all three heads of the tricep. Remember, try means try. Three. So listen guys, this is body weight, gym, and at home workouts that you guys can be doing to effectively and the most, the most beneficial way in my opinion to train your upper body, push muscles, shoulders, chest, and triceps. Listen, shout to Good Money for the platform from the get-go. Putting me on, you already know, appreciate it. Uh, you guys know we, got, we film all the time. We got videos on deck for his channel. Subscribe to That's Good Money's channel. Come to my page. Bar Naturals, B-A-R-N-A-T-U-R-A-L-S. Subscribe to my page. You already know. And you're gonna find things on G's page that you won't find on my page, and you'll find things on my page that you won't find on George's page. So I appreciate all the res uh, appreciate all the respect from all you guys, all the support, and uh, stay tuned for more. Peace out, Bar Naturals. You already know. All right, thanks a lot, Prez. Links to his uh, Instagram and YouTube will be in the subscription box. Yes, Subscribe, Subscribe and follow him. Yes. Shout out to the people on yo, live, man. Yo, G, G, say peace out. Peace out, people. Yo, subscribe to Good Money's channel, you already know. Yeah. And yo, I'll probably be live again later. Maybe gonna hit a deadlift workout. Stay tuned.